She'll be like, oh, you cheated on me? Mm. I don't care. I don't care who he is, what he do, what he look like, how long y'all been together, how good he treated you, anything. Once he step out, children. Next. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this is a motherfucking PSA to Mr. Derrick Goddamn Jackson. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. He's a a sh and you need to leave him. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Like, no, I'm not kidding. I'm not gonna tell nobody to leave that man because you know what I'm saying. Who the fuck am I? Who the fuck am I? But you are canceled in my book. Unfollowed. I don't support you. No, none of that, cause you got me all the way f for years, sir. You have been Mr. Advocate. You have been telling me and my sister girls. Yes, I'm taking this person. It's upsetting me and my home girl. Cause, cause you've been talking to me. You've been telling me and my sister girls what to tolerate, what not to tolerate, or uh, the signs to look for. Love yourself, and blah blah. The motherfucking blah. Talking about respect for women and all of us queens. And you out here being disloyal. He's so good with his words. But now that you see that his actions don't even match his words. You, I just look at him in like a totally different light. I have no respect for this man at all. Like I hope he yeah. fall off. Wow. Uh, yeah. So you took it too hard to ask for it. Um, but yeah. But narcissism is a real thing. Manipulation is a real thing. Oh. So, I mean. Yes, the fuck it is. Yes. Yes. I really wouldn't expect anything less from somebody like you said who's been planning all that oh, shit. Years. Been all that shit for all them years and whatever. Yeah, like you talking all that shit for all them years and whatever the fuck. I wouldn't expect anything less. But then to come out with the public apology or talk or about his imperfections and how he's not perfect and the manner that sounds also godly, godly or reasonable. This flat out makes sense why I chose to be a fuck nigga today. I am. Um, 
<laughs> I hate him so much. Hey. I don't even know him, and I want him yeah. to fall off. I'm about to say, I don't even know him, and I will just take his in <laughs> his balls and 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 put him in a grinder and make him drink Why it. Why you doing too much? Cause I got a dick and balls too. You're doing too much. Yeah, you got you got to relax for a little moment, cause my my heart hurts. <laughs> that's not even <laughs> I didn't even cheat on nobody. <laughs> like, that's a fuck. So what's your heart hurt, on? I mean, what what is your heart hurting for then? Why am I talking like that? <laughs> I wouldn't even. You would just leave. I, I don't even waste my time. I would just I'm, leave. I'm leave, leave. Do you and come back? No, that's cheating no, still. No. no, no. Eat a dick and die. It ain't no. He's die. <laughs> ain't no, ain't no. Oh, we, I'm about to come back and maybe try to figure it out. No. Well, that's good. You sound like Ariel. Ariel would not. Mm -mm. She would. She would like chuck up the deuces and never come back. She would do just like this. Just, just, just her. <laughs> She'd be like, "Oh, you cheated on me? Mm -hmm. I don't care. I don't care who he is, what he do, what he look like, how long y'all been together, how good he treated you, anything." Once he step out, children. Next. <laughs> yeah, for real, dude. Next. Like said, man. I'm a little emotional, so that ain't enough for me. And I got it in me. I'm karma. I karma. Let's have I and karma. When a nigga got money, now you done switched up on me Now you gon' say what's up to me Okay, so now you gon' make love to me Girl, if you don't get the fuck from me I know you thought we had something special That you don't mean nothing to me Girl, I'm sorry you got the one for me Tell me I just got what you want from me This ain't nothing, you keep it so one, honey I can't let none of these niggas get one up on me I go back, I tell you, you better run from me Give hold to my niggas, them niggas love money I to them bitches, can't get a hug from me Okay, so this is workout outfit number one. I'm gonna list everything down below um, in chronological order, but this material does not feel cheap at all. This material is definitely giving me very expensive. Um, I love this top. It fits, it has the feel of a sports bra because I don't have on a bra right now, but yet my boobs feel very secure. Um, I love this. So for me, um, the peekaboos are, are more so like a security blanket for me when I'm working out for some reason why it gives me um, comfort. Um, I love how the leggings come up so high. So that way when you're bending over, doing your squats and stuff, you don't gotta worry about your lower back showing or anything like that. So yes, I have on a crop top sports bra type feel thing, but um, my leggings come up so high that I can literally cover my tummy area. So. Yeah, when we get back in the gym this summer, look, we're getting back in the gym this, this summer. <laughs> but when we get back in the gym this summer, um, these, this outfit is definitely gonna come in clutch, definitely gonna come in handy. So, um, yes, I'm here for Oya Sports Girl already, but I'm gonna go ahead and try on the other pieces. Workout fit number two like i said i don't even have on a bra and my boobs feel very secure that's the most important thing to me um and then these biker shorts once again they are super high waist the material is snug i don't know if i told you guys but um all of these are in a size small i'm five foot one i'm 130 pounds probably 132 pounds right now i'm not really sure um and yeah i'm really broad up top and more narrow at the bottom but it's still snug it's still hugging in the right places i think i think that um this is really cool this is definitely going to come clutch when we get back in the gym so i finally came to the conclusion that um the medium was their best in the pants department but the top department you can definitely stick with a small like i said if you're my size this sports bra Mm -hmm. I have a short torso, so I wish that this had like a sh like I wish this was adjustable, but it's not. So I would have to like tie this in a knot in order for it to hold my boob up. Yeah, um, but other than that, like this side holds pretty well. Um, but the other side, on the other hand, little, little, little droopy. She she's a little droopy, but um, 
yeah so like i said with the leggings i would probably most likely get in a size medium all right so this has to be my favorite two piece out of the sets that they sent me this force bra is very unique so i absolutely love the cutouts um around the neck area and this is the bag I think that is really fire and this this sports bra actually have padding in it um, but I prefer not to have padding so I'm gonna most likely take it out and then for the leggings like I said I would probably go for a medium in the leggings because I do feel like they fit kind of snug um, so I would do a medium in the leggings and then the sports bra is obviously a small I am a little broad up top so if you have more of a narrow um, torso you can actually go with an extra small and I am like a 36 B so or like yeah 36 B so yeah I'm here for this this one is my favorite so far and we literally just have one more set and then we're gonna get out the door all right and this is the last two-piece sports bra like I said once again very comfy it does have padding in it um I'm trying to figure out why my boots sticking out <laughs> Maybe I need a bigger size, I don't know. These are, once again, um, biker shorts. As you guys can see, everything is in a size small. Um, ooh, girl, I just gotta get rid of the dummy, girl. You gotta get rid of the dummy. To rate the brand quality, the quality is A1. Um, the material is very soft. The material is also very stretchy, and it is also thick. I like thick materials when I'm working out because you know you start sweating you know like people like me I don't like to wear bras when I'm working out um, I don't wear bras with my sports bras I don't I like the, the the long sleeves and the short sleeve like crop tops if it, it has the material of the sports bra so it's like you don't have to wear a bra you know I don't like to wear like too many clothes and so yeah that's it for this mini try on Haul. If you're interested in checking out Oye Sportswear, I'm going to leave their information link down below in the description box. And I also want to send a personal thank you to Oye Sportswear for trusting me to share their clothing line with my kindred. So, um, yeah. I feel like I'm going to wear my favorite piece, my gray um, sports bra and some gray leggings, throw on some tennis shoes and like a black leather jacket. And then we're going to head out the door. I think... to take Nala with me because I be feeling bad leaving her in the house and it's pretty warm outside. I think it's gonna rain later but it's about what is he looking at? It's about um what is he looking at? 61 degrees outside right now. So it's pretty warm or whatever. Um first things first I'm going to go to a FedEx. I had to run back in the house to get my passport and my birth certificate because I don't know what else I need and I brought like my ID and stuff. I'm gonna go try to renew my passport today. Um, we'll see how that goes. And then after that, we're gonna go to TJ Maxx. Say hi. And then after that, we're gonna go to TJ Maxx. And then we're gonna go to Ulta. Cause I wanna see if I can, um, if I should get like some brown, um, brow dip for this hair. Because I do wanna give it a try. I don't know we'll see and then 
We're gonna go to the grocery store because we gotta get some groceries because you're gonna have guests this weekend. Nala, not Nala, <laughs> Jayla's coming down this weekend. I'm nervous to take her out. I don't want her to. That's not gonna give you problems, mommy. That's not gonna give you problems. Okay, so bad news. I didn't know this. So I, everyone's passport is blue. This passport is brown. So it was issued to me while I was in service, and it ex they issued to me. And be quiet, girl. They issued it to me in 2015, but it expired last year. So I was like, maybe I can just renew it, but I can't renew it as a civilian. I have to renew it as a a veteran with the military. Matter of fact, let me call Daryl. I'm gonna ask him. Like, how does that work? Hey, what's up, Mother? Hi, I have a quick question. Um, you know our passports that they issued when we were in the military? Yeah. Um, can as if if we're a civilian, can we get it renewed through them or no? Or we have to apply for another, like a civilian passport? Oh, uh, you, you, you yeah, we get to apply for a civilian one. You think? Yeah, because I remember when I got out, I, I had to go get a whole new passport. Yeah. When I got out, like like a month after I got out, I had to get a new one. Oh, okay. So yeah, because they they whenever like they, they they process all of my like international stuff, they did it all for me. Like I I, I didn't have to do anything. Like um, the our our command took care of all of the international travel. Yeah. Okay. And 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 I don't even know because like we didn't go there for like um. I mean like like I don't even know if I actually got a passport because like I was like like sent to like you know like 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 combat like i don't i don't think it was i don't think we had to do any passport i think we just had to get um security clearances and that was it oh damn i, th I think i think i don't know. but i know yeah i i i like, um i know i had to file for a brand new passport as soon as i got out of the out of the marines okay thank you i'm gonna head over to the post office now <laughs> is that it yeah that's it thank you all right yep bye bye um, <sighs> okay, well that was a fail. Let's try this again. We're most likely gonna have to schedule us an appointment, Nala Poo. Mm, all right. Well, we're about to go to the post office and try to schedule an appointment. Hopefully the line isn't long right now. And then we're gonna go to TJ Maxx. They say time heals. Shut up. But your mind still. Shut up. We gotta get look. We gotta get some thug back in us. We out here crying and stuff. You ain't doing that. So I got out the car. Like I drove to a post office and I got out the car and I went inside and I was like, you know what? Let me go online to schedule an appointment because I don't want to go in there and then they'd be like, oh, do, 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 do. So I went online. The earliest availability they had online was, it's April 28th. April 28th at 12 noon. Which is a little annoying. Because how long does it take for the passport to come back or do you get it the same day? Now, I chose to just get a passport book, which you can see is $110. Then I chose to expedite it, which is an additional $60. And then for even speedier delivery, I checked one to two day delivery. And now you can see exactly what I paid, which was 222. Where's the music, Nala? I'm stressed out. Mommy is so stressed out. Like, so stressed out. Nala Poo just chilling. They hey, mama. I was not supposed to spin a hundred and something dollars in forever 21. If I get home and I try this stuff on, well, when I get home, I'm, I'm going to try this stuff on. <laughs> and if I don't like it, if I don't like some of the stuff, it cut it right back. Because I don't understand why we can't try clothes on. So, yeah, now we're off to Home Goods. Now, I should have went there first, because then I probably wouldn't have went to Forever 21. Cause home gets be taxing, baby. But forever twenty one be taxing too. But we about to see what we find in here. Nala, relax. Look at her. She do way too much. I come in here literally not needing anything, but I'm like, since I'm gonna be having my friend come into town, I need some new towels. 
soon gonna get me two new towels and two new and some more wash glass and stuff. That's what I'm gonna do. How much is these? Five dollars. I guess. I need some more soap, but I think I'm going to go to TJ Maxx for that. Oh, lavender hand soap. This is cute. This kind of goes with the bathroom. How much is this? $5? This is cute. I'll go with that. I think these are so cute. Like this right here specifically, I would love to have this. But I need to move first. Because I don't know what my next place is going to look like. So it doesn't make sense, but... I love this. Oh wait, you have to pee with, with Nala all up in your pocket. How do you do that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm over here accidentally hitting her head on the counter. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm coming out. Have a good night. Yes, but I think it I think it is kind of corny, but I do want to keep my um my Mini Cooper, but I do want like a grown up car. So keep your keep the Mini as like a like a a run around car, like running errands and shit. Oh, uh, you really consider that a running errands type of car? Um, it's little. Like, what type of other car is it? I don't know. I mean, usually people like bigger cars for errands because they can put more shit in it. Oh, well, bitch, I don't know what type of car this is. And I can't show you because... I would, I would consider that to be like a weekend car, like convertible. Oh, like just drop top. I was thinking that my... But you're so used to that car and you beat it up so much that it's not even like that for you no more. Like, mm -mm. <laughs> I know, but it suits you. Like, you know, it I, would, suits I still, you. literally still get compliments on my car all the time. And I don't understand why, but people always talk about it. Oh, I love your car. Especially, especially men. Many men love my car. Really? Mm-hmm. Men love my car. It's not my fault. You've been lying, saying that I took away your peace. Drowning by yourself. Now you wanna blame me? Like you have no option. Good morning, my kindreds. I've been up since five o'clock this morning. Um, I was doing like laundry and stuff. So uh, now that my clothes has been in the dryer for like the past hour, I'm about to walk back to the laundry mat, go fold up my clothes, bring them back, put my clothes away so we can finally really get our day started. My baby Jayla is coming um, into town. She has not been in New York since like voting season. So uh, I'm excited to have her. So I'm gonna treat her like she hasn't lived here <laughs> before. Like we're gonna have so much fun this weekend. So I'm really excited. Um, my Nalapu over here, she's sleeping that my baby right there but yeah i'm just gonna hurry up and get out this door and go get Laundry is done, I swear. That's a chore that I absolutely hate doing. Um, oh, I got some again. So, I've been working with Anna Louisa since like what, August? And they sent me something else. Um, I guess I'll just open this later. I love their jewelry, their jewelry is so fire. Um, I honestly don't feel like opening the mail right now. I feel like that too is another chore. Don't feel like it. But what I do need to do, I do need to um, make my tea this morning. I've been on my 30 day detox with Timmy. So um, I'm gonna start, start that by boiling me some water. And while that's boiling, I'm gonna take me a shower and put on some clothes. Y'all, I'm so tight this morning. I'm sorry if I sound like dead, cause I low key am, I'm tired. 
like you have no options I ain't take your options Nah, I'm not the problem Man, that's on you, yeah You've been terrorizing me Yeah, I'm always wrong I knew you lost your mind When you dropped that bomb Girl, are you crazy? Yeah, you must be crazy I've been thinking lately Lately it's you You stole your peace Put it on me But baby it's you Lying like a rat But take your stuff back Baby it's you I literally just left the nail salon. I think I'm gonna have to stop by the house first to drop my bags off because Jayla, suitcases. Oh, wait, she ain't got no suitcase right now. Oh, great, 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 great. So, okay, so I'm about to go to the um, airport right now to go pick up Jayla. She almost missed her flight, so she'll have her suitcases, which is great. Cause I ain't got no room in my trunk anyways. Where you at? It's nobody on this street that I'm on, so that's why I'm just like. It's a lot of cars. You're at LaGuardia, right? Yes. I um. Oh, look. This is what I see. It, oh, it's a sign that says Park East, Park, uh, Parkway East, Parkway West, CD. Did you come to see? I'm about to go back up to see. I'm at D. I had to turn around. I'm wait, at D. Wait. Okay. I'm actually glad you ain't got no bag because um I'm actually bad you ain't got no bag because I, I I forgot to take my suitcase out the truck. <laughs> Made it in the house. We're about to eat a nice little lunch, have us some drinks. I gotta switch out this wig because baby, I'm trying to be sexy and black today, okay? You special lunch you're reckless. Babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl, you can spend it oh. And everything is alright I like how you doing alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top of you Thank you. That's what I've been waiting on right there. Mm. It's the something kiss. I'm pretty sure y'all heard. Oh, you're so good. This is the pretty. Oh, the boil special. We got two pound clusters out here. Just crab legs. Just strictly crab legs. We're going to be lit tonight. And then we got our corn and potatoes right here. We're gonna actually try this again because we had a lot of hiccups yesterday. 
But today is a brand new day. It's Saturday. My baby leaves in what? She got one more day here. So two more nights here. And then she leaves on Monday. She'll be gotta make it worth it. Cause she said she won't come in back. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's hot as hell in here. You not hot? No, I'm not going to do Bring your ass in here then. Yeah. Bring that ass over here, boy. Hey, Turner! Hey. Welcome! Come in! Alright, what? Well, yo, what's up? 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 Hookah in. Y'all ready to pour up? Yes. Let's go. go. Let's leave it to the bartender. Let's go. To the bartender. To 43. To success, to happiness, to being black and winning. Black, black yes. and wealthy. And wealthy yes. has more money. Cheers. 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 Oh. How I get that? Ooh. Tonight is going to be a makeup. Oh for tomorrow's bullshit and shenanigans, okay? <laughs> right, right now, taking a shot of Belvedere. Come on now, what are we giving? This is to what? We just did a great night. Oh no, we did. Y'all yeah, we gotta, we gotta get deeper than that, and I know y'all can get deeper than that. <laughs> this is just to ownership, black wealth, black health, uh, and ownership. And ownership. Ownership. Own it. And new friends. And new Cheers. friends. Cheers. Cheers. Yes, I know. So this toast is to work it smarter, not harder. Work it smarter, not harder. Baby, let me see that. Yeah, let me see that. Right. He big boy. Nah. Regular glass. That's what we on. It's cool. Big glass. It's cool. Guys gonna be to work it smarter, not harder. Okay. Yes. Yes. Nice. Hey Google. Black. <laughs> Listen, some people like to smoke, some people like to drink. I love to drink. And let me tell you, you did that motherfucking thing. You did that thing. I didn't know. Look, look. You heard it here first. Your girl got it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, I ain't got a shot. I ain't got a shot. It go up. No, up. In and in. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, the shot. I got a quarter shot. Oh. Let's go. Come on. That's mine right there. Boom. Boom. That's one. Bada bing, bada boom, bada pow. Bang. Let's go. Wow. That's his. Okay, I want you to know. Listen, yeah. you gotta squirt yeah. and drip a little. What is All that? right, so that's yours. This mine. Oh, that's yours. That's his, I'm, no, glad, that's his. I'm glad y'all remember mine. Cause, uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh wait, wait, what's this two? What's this two? Wait. This is two. Hey, Google. Fuck you. Hey, Google, pause. Okay. Hey, Google. Night, hey, Google. Oh, you a bitch. Oh, huh. pause. Pause music. Pause. Two. Okay, come on. Niggas. Niggas clearing the bill, getting checks. Ooh. Oh. Money. Last night was another epic fail. Okay, we got two epic fail nights in a row this weekend. We literally have one more day to redeem ourselves. Like last night, we got so messed up. Jayla's friend recorded us. She showed me these videos this morning. He recorded us, me on the ground passed out like knocked out on the floor sleep at home we were at home and Jayla was arguing with her friend about how she didn't start drinking until she met him and it was just like it was uh we were so fucked up like we didn't even get to leave the house we put on our jackets and coats and everything to go like get food and stuff because we didn't eat all day just to be passed out like I woke up at five o'clock in the morning like what the fuck? What, what happened? Like, what's going? <laughs> what happened? Why am I in the bed and why am I asleep? She was up. She had literally woke up like 20 minutes before me, um, to like wipe her makeup off and stuff. And she was just telling me like we didn't even leave the house. Like we got so drunk, so messed up. Like I was in my bed with my clothes on, my coat on, with my makeup on and everything. I'm just like, oh my god. So last night was epic fail. 
today we're gonna try to like redeem ourselves. Um, I'm going to the spa right now. I'm headed to ancient spas, ancient bath spas in Manhattan. So I'm about to go to the city now. Um, and then Jayla has a lunch date with her manager and then they're gonna like take pictures and stuff. So after that, by the time she's done, I'll be at home um, wrapping up, getting myself together because I have to go back home do my hair do my makeup and stuff and get dressed and we're probably just going to do like a dinner or something um but yeah y'all <laughs> epic fail i'm gonna try we're we gonna try this again today okay i'm gonna try to be a little bit more consistent vlogging is hard vlogging is hard it's hard to keep up okay it's really hard but we're gonna get it together i'm gonna I'm do better for my kindreds you know what I'm i love y'all i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a little better <laughs> okay so i just left the spa i'm like super tired um i feel exhausted i thought that was gonna help but no it didn't help at all so i'm actually about to run into zara to find something to wear for the day because i feel like i ain't got no clothes at home to wear so it's a nice day outside so i'm just gonna run into zara really quickly hopefully find something and then we're gonna go home do our hair and makeup because i got salt all in my hair because I went into the water. I had my hair in a bun, but the bun got wet. And, it's, and I went into the sea salt pool. And, oh, it's just gross. So I need to do my hair. And, yeah. I don't know. Find something to do. Maybe dinner or something. I don't know. We're going to have to figure it out. This weekend has been an epic fail. Dun, dun, dun. looking for parking um, well looking for my car uh, and then I might even have a harder time because I'm distracted I walked into this store that or this um, yeah this clothing store that I've like walked past so many times and I was like let me just finally go in there and I went in here and oh my god I found so many cute pieces so cute so I'm about to try on three of these three dresses super excited super excited I'm gonna be so fine this summer. <laughs> okay, outfit number one. I think this is cute. And chic. I absolutely love it. I'm here for it. <laughs> right? When I get my, I, I gotta do my hair. My hair, I got salt all in it, so I gotta do my hair. But. Yeah, I'm here for it. Okay, cool. This one, number two. This one, I think, is my fave. It's so pretty. Why is it so dark? Oh, there we go. It's so pretty. I think this is the one. I don't know. This is definitely going to look really cute in Miami. 
Oh, just, just imagine. Mm, so here for it. This is outfit number two. I mean three, I'm sorry. I feel like I should probably tie it tighter. This is pretty though. I'm in love. Oh, this was the one at the front. This was the one I like right here. So pretty. The dresses in that damn place. Um, what's the name of it? Um, Nicholas K. Okay, so that was Nicholas K. That place. <laughs> so happy I went in there. They have so many cute pieces. Like literally. So many cute pieces. I can't breathe what they did. <gasps> Look at the poodle. It's a poodle. Oh, I wish I could do it. Just, just. I don't know if you guys can see, but that poodle was so cute. But, um, yeah. So like the pieces in there were so cute. Absolutely stunting. Stunting with a T, baby. Okay, stunting. And um, but now I'm about to go home. Cause the girl's starving and it's like five o'clock and I have not eaten today. So I'm gonna go home, like hurry up, do my hair and do my makeup. I found my car. Oh my God, I was so nervous. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to find my car. I literally just walked in the house and was like recording and dropped my camera and now my camera lens won't go in. It won't, it's stuck out. So I can't even turn it on because it does this. And I'm starving. So I, ha I have this leftover boil that I like boil that, like seafood bag that I got from the boil. I think I messed it up, Brandon. I think I left it in the actual boiling hot water for too long. And now the plastic look like it's trying to melt. Y'all, this is like so annoying. I think I messed it up. Look at that. That look kind of crazy. Would y'all eat this? I'm about to because I'm hungry. I'm like starving. So I'm about to eat. Mmm. It looks so good. I can't wait to get to this corn, baby. This is why I don't like recording on my phone because I can't eat. I'm in a new kid, and I'll be right there. I'm a cock, I'm checking my bed.